Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you have ever printed an excel sheet and ended up with awkward cutoffs or waste space, this video is for you. Today I will show you how to set margins in excel like a pro. So your printouts look clean, centered and exactly the way you want. Let's dive in. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. This is the sample retail transaction data set that I want to take print. Now how its page would look like when it will be print. To see it, first I'll go to the view tab and change its view from the normal to the page break view. So this will exactly tell me that the first page will be printed up to this dotted blue line and rest of the data will be printed on the second page. But I need it all on a single page. To print it on a single page, I need to set my margins. For this purpose, I will click on this page layout and then I will click on this margin drop down button. So this will show me different margin options set by default by the Excel. Currently, it's on normal. I can change it to wide or I can change it to narrow. Another thing that I can do is by going to this margins, I can click on this custom margins. So this will open the page setup. Here I can set the top, bottom, left and right margins as well as the header and the footer. Additionally, I can click on this horizontal and vertical option to center the page or I can uncheck them as per my need. After setting the margins, I can click on the print preview to see how it looks like when it will be printed on the page. So we can see that still some part of the data is missing that we need to set. I'll go back. Another thing that we can do is the change of scale. For this purpose, I'll click on this arrow to open the page setup and then under the page I can adjust this to the size that I need. For example, I set it to 80 and then click on this OK. You can see that the dotted line is moved to the right but still the last column will not be printed on this first page. So I need to change this scale a little bit low. For this purpose, I can go to this page setup or I can directly type this on this scale. So I will change this 80% to 75%. Still the dotted line is not moved to the right. So I will change it to 70. So now you can see that all the content will be printed on the page 1. Now let's see how it will look like on the page. For this purpose, I will go to the file tab. And then I will click on this print. So you can see that all the data will be printed on this first page. But it is now very small to read. And a lot of space is left empty on this page. How we can fix this? Let's learn. I will click on this back button. Now the solution for this is the change of orientation of the page. I will click on this orientation. And then change it from portrait to landscape. Now I am going to increase the scale up to 95%. Now let's see how it looks like when we take print. For this purpose again I am going to the file type and then click on this print. So you can see that the data is fit on the page and now it is easier to read. The only thing that we need to set is the empty area on the left is smaller as compared to the right. So if we make it center horizontally, it will look more good. For this purpose, I am going back. I will click on this arrow to go to the page setup. I will go to the margins and click on this horizontally centered and then click OK. So now if I click on this print preview, you can see that all the things are set. The last thing that you need to learn is that there is some options of setting the margins in the print preview also. 
you can see that on the left we have the printing options along with this margins options also so this means that we can also set the margins under the print preview dialog box that's it now you know how to control margins in excel and make your spreadsheet print ready if this helped you out don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a tip got questions or want to see more excel tricks drop a comment below i would love to hear from you thanks for watching